A very wise and experienced professor once told me, lecture harms students. In my opinion, the focus on grades also hurts learning. Currently, universities measure student achievement using grades. Unfortunately, a student's grade point average is to learning what a blender is to a frog. All the parts are there, but they don't really form a recognizable picture. Grades serve only as a rough measure of a student's work and depth of understanding. In fact, grades are such bad measures of student learning that the accreditation agencies that monitor the quality of universities do not accept grades as indicators that students are learning. In games, however, players aren't graded on their performance, but rather their advancement is determined by a measure known as experience points. Now we are back in Azeroth. Here is a new character I made to demonstrate how experience points work. Since he is new to the world, pretty much everything he does gives him experience. In games, experience, not knowledge, is a measure of advancement. In this game, the purple bar at the bottom of the screen tells me how many experience points I have. As in real life, in the game I gain experience by doing things. This being a game, I gain experience by killing bad guys. Here I go. Let's jump ahead in the game to the point I have tracked down the bad guys, creatures called kobolds. As you can see, my character is working hard on this task, killing kobolds. Keeping an eye on the purple bar at the bottom of the screen, you'll see that after I kill a kobold, the bar, which indicates how much experience I have, moves to the right, and some text flashes up telling me how many experience points or XP I have gained. I only gain experience when I actually kill a kobold. The only way I can gain experience in a game is by actually completing tasks, and the more tasks I complete, the more experience I get. How would the university change if college, instead of awarding grades, awarded experience points? How would replacing grades with experience points improve how learning is measured and rewarded? Let's assume that this circle represents some area of expertise or competence that's supposed to be mastered in a class. Typically, different students learn different parts of the material. Say student A masters this part of the class, while student B, who has different interests, abilities, and prior knowledge, learns this part. When faculty test knowledge, the test typically samples only a small area of what should be learned. The general belief is that the more of an area a student knows, the better their grade will be, at least averaged over many exams. Why doesn't this work? Let's take a look at a second case and see what happens if students master less of the course material. Clearly, neither student A nor student B has learned as much, and the overlap of the exam, shown as the blue regions with student knowledge, is much less. If we look at the distribution of exam scores, we would see score distributions like this on the first exam and this on the second exam. For the first exam, scores indicate students know between 70% and 90% of the material. Scores on the second exam, however, show students have not mastered nearly as much of this area of knowledge. If a faculty member assigns these grades on the first test, what will she do on the second exam? Comparing the two exams, one would think that since the overlap is smaller, grades on the second exam would be much less. In reality, they're nearly identical. If the mean on a test is a 30 out of 100, the professor adjusts or curves the grades upwards to avoid failing most of the students. What this means is that if an entire class performs poorly and fails to master critical areas of competence, almost everyone will pass. If universities awarded experience points rather than grades, there would be no need to curve because there would be no failing grade. Rather, a student who got a high score on an exam would simply gain more experience points than the student who scored poorly. Since all experience advances a student, rather than the stigma of failure, poor performance simply means slower advancement through the program. Those students who did not learn what the class had to teach would need to find some other way to gain needed experience. Without grades, however, how does a college know a student is qualified to earn a degree? This brings us to the second lesson college can learn from games, but let's first look at how students earn a degree in the current version of college. In the typical college program, a degree is earned by completing a curriculum, or set sequence of courses. Increasingly, people are realizing how restrictive curricula are in the information age. 
For example, students at my university take about 42 courses on the path to graduation and earn about three credits per course. This is a visual map of our program's curriculum. Ideally, students march through this curriculum in lockstep, like Nazis marching into Paris. In this ideal of a university, a student advances each year, i.e. freshman to sophomore, by completing 32 credits. By passing required courses in the specified order, i.e. following the curriculum, and earning enough credits, students graduate after four years. For most students, the ideal curriculum is a myth. Navigating the maze of courses requires professional advice. Failing a class somewhere in the middle of the curriculum can be disastrous for two reasons. First, you must pass earlier classes to take later classes. And second, earning credits is binary. You either pass a class or you don't. Thus, failing a class can delay graduation by as much as a year. Dropping a class has the same effect. If the vision of personalized education is ever to be achieved, this must change. But how can adopting ideas from games change the criteria by which universities award degrees? Let's go back to the game world and jump ahead just a little bit to the point where I have gained enough experience that my experience point bar is almost all the way to the right. If I complete my current task and gain just a little bit more experience, let's see what happens. That flash of light means that I just dinged or gained a level. This brings us to the second idea that college can draw from games. 